What's up everybody, Gentleman94 here for the 3GB. Welcome to our look at Alien Isolation for the PS4. Now, this game has been out for a little while now, so this isn't new to anybody, but life's hectic, a lot of stuff's been going on, so I wanted to go ahead and kind of sit down and give you a little look at Alien Isolation. We're going to actually be playing one of the DLCs that I got with this. I got the Nostromo edition, so we're going to be playing Crew Expendable. So let's go ahead and go on into there and Kind of crew expendable. I don't know what survivor mode is. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, that's the game and uh, crew expendable. So let's go ahead and boot her up. I'm going to do easy, guys, because I know I'm going to die a lot, <laughs> most likely. I just want to just kind of get into it, see what's going on. So myself, I'm a huge fan of Alien. Alien was the first horror, you know, sci-fi slash rated R movie I ever saw when I was a kid. Um, it was absolutely mesmerizing to me. And especially the fact that the design for the ship and the weapons and all of that, that was absolutely awesome. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get in and actually play in the Nostromo and see what it is that uh, they modeled here. See how well the uh, design staff did. Go ahead and take a listen. Whatever it was, it was big. And... You sure took him into the airship? Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. One question is, it's used in the air ducts to move around. You know, the primary air shaft may work to our advantage. We can lead it through down to the main airlock. Who gets to go into the vent? Okay, guys, it looks like we can choose um, our character here. We can play as Ellen Ripley, we can play as Dallas, or we can play as Parker. Pretty cool. And uh, we're going to play as uh, Ripley, even though this is actually not how it happened in the movie. We're going to go ahead and we're going to play. What do I need to do? Ripley, you lead it into the primary air shaft. We trap it on the lower deck. Then Ash opens the airlock. Lock down the maintenance hatches where Parker, Lambert, and me are tracking it on the way. Let's do it, people. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have that we have to do. All right. Oh, cool. All right, we're in the eating area. I'm pretty sure where Kane got murdered by the alien when it came out of him. Uh, I got a lot of. Uh, oh, look, it's Lambert. What's up, Lambert? Is she coughing? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, there's that bird that does that perpetual motion thing. Some airlocks here. Let's look around and see what we can see. Um, attention to detail in this game. So far, pretty cool, I gotta say. Man, look at this. <laughs> this guy's very 70s looking, isn't he? <laughs> okay. What else we got? Radio. <laughs> An old, like, old cassette deck. Look at that, it's like a boombox. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, what's we got here? Coffee cup. She keeps coughing. What is going on, Lambert? Why do you keep coughing? Alright, this is uh, the uh, oh, look at this. SCJ injector. I wonder what that is. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, got some eatery areas cornflakes, bran flakes. Looks like this is, yeah, this is definitely the dining hall here. That doesn't go anywhere. Ground. Uh, from what I remember, Alien 1 was supposed to be kind of like truckers in space, because they're, I mean, they're hauling cargo. They're not you know, mercenaries, or not weapon guys, they're just a bunch of space truckers, basically. So I think, if I remember right, the movie was supposed to have that kind of gritty, grungy feel. Yeah, they have like space suits, very nice. Hmm, okay. I don't know where that goes, I don't want to go down there then. <laughs> Oh, there's my foot. Look at that. Hey, nice. Okay, ceiling. He's coughing too. There's like a sickness going on here. Okay, you run by pushing down the stick. That's cool. Ooh, med bay. What's this all about? Ripley. Ooh. You might want to look around before you go on. The specimen seems extremely adaptable. Extremely adaptable. Ash, you're a jerk. You're totally going to try to murder me later. I know that from the movie. Look at that. Alien blood. Cool. 
Alright, let's see what else we got here. Um, what do we got? Oh, there's something here. Where is it? Oh, click scrap. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, look at that. a med kit. That's cool. Look, oh, there's the face hugger. Look at that. Oh, man. That thing gave him some trouble in the movie. Look at all these, like, CRT, you know, TVs and blinking lights and all that. They did a pretty good job of re uh, replicating the actual Nostromo. So, Let's see what our map's supposed to look like here. This is a deck. I think there are like four decks to the Nostromo, if I remember right. I'd have a look around first, see if there's anything that might help. You never know. Yeah, whatever, Ash. You're a jerk. Um, what else we got? So let's go outside. Wait. Let's, oh, look at this. What is this here? Ah, flare. Now, if I remember correctly, if I can figure out how to use different buttons and things. Um, we will actually be able to throw flares and throw noisemakers to go ahead and distract the alien to lure him away from where I'm at. Now, of course, this is the very first time I've ever played this game, so I have no idea what the buttons do. I'm still trying to figure that out. Man, look at these really cool lights. Man, this is definitely the Nostromo. This would have been like the living quarter area, I think. Here's the cryo tubes. Ooh, an old school reel to reel audio tape. Let's see what this says. The Nostromo has landed on the surface of the planetoid the acoustical beacon is transmitting from. Dallas, Kane, and Lambert are making preparations to approach the beacon on foot. The surface structure is basalt with traces of rhyolite and probable lava overlays. Atmosphere, inert nitrogen, a little oxygen, and high levels of free CO2. Pressure reads at 10 to the fourth times per centimeter. Okay, so Ash is talking about the planet, uh, LV-246, I think it is, or the 426, LV-242, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's see what's plenty. Great, doesn't help me at all. Look at these old school coolers, though. I had a cooler like that when I was a kid. A lot of sandals around here. Look, they even put a little pillbox Right? For Sunday through Saturday pills and things. Cigarette packs. Wow, cool. Pictures of people. I don't know who they're supposed to be. I don't think it's that detailed. Man, I love how these lights kind of glow. That's really cool. Alright, so let's see. We. Um, I've already been in here. Anything with, oh, nice. I kind of have a feeling that in this game we're going to have to look around a lot. Kind of check things out, see what we've got going on. Um, and it's going to be interesting once the alien starts kind of coming into play here because I don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing yet. Like I said, I haven't looked at the instructions. I basically got the game, popped it in, and went right to the DLC because I really wanted to play, you know, the uh, the Nostromo level and I wanted to see what it was like. So let's go through here again. What's up, Lambert? Chill out. Nice. You eating that uh, candy bar? Good for you. Oh, I've been in here before. I don't want to read Dirt Magazine. Let's get out of here. Um, let's see. We are... Oh, okay. So let's go this way. Open the door. Here we go. So this should be the bridge. Yep, there's Dallas. Walking around. That quarter doesn't look too friendly. Uh... Nice. Look at this. Incinerator flamethrower. Sweet. Okay, so we've um, completed an objective. We have our little flamethrower here, which probably isn't going to do much. It didn't do much in the movie, so I don't think it's going to do much here. And as far as I understand, you're not supposed to be able to kill the alien. It's like blueprints of the ship, at least the internal corridors and things. A couple of stations using the strong. Oh, man. I don't know if you can hear these guys, but the sound effects come right out of the movie be honest the sound effects are fantastic the lighting effects in this game too really really cool i think this would have been kane's station i think um or well it could have been lambert too i don't know who this was we post-it notes so. <laughs> let's see cool let's see what we got uh that i think up here would have been ripley station maybe it's been a while since i've actually watched the movie but i'm pretty sure that one of those is ripley station 
and one of those was Lambert Station. And Kane, I think, Kane and Lambert sat in the front. I think this is Ash's station over here. Okay, well, Dallas has disappeared, so let's grab this. Scrap, okay. And um, let's go this way. I think the uh, story kind of follows um, Ripley's daughter, and Ripley's daughter is, uh, I guess, kind of a... Uh, kind of a crafty kind of person. She kind of builds things and stuff. Was that just me or is that glass floating? Um, that looked like that glass was floating. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, anyway, down the hall we go. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we... What was that? Is there something over here? Uh, some steam coming out of that vent over there. That's creepy. Oh, there's back to medical. Okay, I'm going the right way. I'm going to go all the way around here. Look at these shadow effects, guys. You see, notice this, uh, lights coming in from the window there. It's got a little bouncing ball thing. And there it is on the wall. Bouncing along. Pretty creepy. Ash. The security system has shut a number of doors, so you'll need to gather equipment en route. Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Okay, so mother isn't helping. Got to collect scrap and stuff along the way and supplies. These are all empty. Who raided all my coolers? Whatever. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll go down. Okay. Good luck. I'm closing the hatch behind you. Sure. Now I heard actually they've uh, reprised the voice actors here from the movie, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we got to seal a hatch zero zero B one. Yep, he definitely closed off the hatch behind me. Thanks, Ash. That's nice. Let's try to figure out the controls. Look at these lightings are really cool. Wow. It's awesome. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, I don't know the buttons. I'm totally ill-prepared. Let's get the motion tracker out. Um. Oh, dude, I hear footsteps. That's... Whoa. I got a dot. What does this dot do? Oh, that's probably the alien. Um. Surely they wouldn't throw the alien at us this quickly. I mean, we just got into the game flamethrower here. Oh, the music's changed. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap, I see his head. Let's get out of here. Oh crap, which way do I go? Can I hide? Can I hide here? Oh, what? Oh no, oh, he's gonna eat my face. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh man. <laughs> okay, well that was over quickly. Um, yeah. So, uh, that looks like, uh, looks like it. <laughs> he was totally murdered by the alien 15 minutes into the game. Um, yeah. But let me give you kind of the idea of what I think about this game. It's just really cool. From anybody who's an alien fan, just kind of go in and walk around the Nostromo, even if the alien is trying to kill you. Uh, it's still a lot of fun just to kind of be in the Nostromo. I mean, growing up with the very first alien movie, you know, the ships, the weapons... The ambiance, the way everyone interacted, and it just was really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. So this is a real treat to be able to walk around the different decks of the Nostromo. So like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy into the game. I'm not planning on doing a Let's Play of it because if by this time it's it's a little a little past its prime right now. But I just, things have been so busy, guys. I've wanted to play this so much. Finally got a chance to get into it. And my initial impressions are, if you're an Aliens fan, you're going to love it. If you're a survival horror fan, probably be pretty intrigued to play the game. I have heard it's very long and it's very repetitive, but aren't all survival horror games kind of that same way? Because you're not actually able to kill the main enemy. You have to run away. You have to escape, which is different than most games I've played. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Uh, to really, if you guys haven't played this game yet or you're kind of on the fence about it, give it a shot. It looks awesome. It plays really well. If I knew the buttons, I probably wouldn't have died right there, but I'll go back, I'll try it again, I'm sure I'll get farther in it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll be back with some more videos. Until then, keep gaming, we'll see you soon.